We now learn that there's gender care for three-year-olds at Melbourne's Royal Children's Hospital. Gender-affirming care for children as young as three. What do you make of this, Claire? Oh, I, I think it's absolutely crazy that this is happening in Australia while everywhere else in the world the ways in which uh, children with gender dysphoria are being treated is under the microscope and being reviewed consistently. And in many instances, the gender affirming model, um, the model that by which a, a child's gender identity is affirmed rather than um, their biological sex, this model is being rolled back in uh, other jurisdictions overseas because there have been independent reviews, there have been inquiries, and they have found that these models aren't necessarily providing the best possible outcomes to young children. So once again, I find it absolutely staggering that we are living in a country where frankly, people have their heads in the sand about this. No one wants to be looking at this issue. No one wants to be talking about this issue. Mm. As we know, overseas, when there have been inquiries and there have been reviews, these these affirmative care models aren't working. Oh, it's crazy to have three-year-olds, three-year-olds involved in this. Uh, I think Australia is an outlier now with the rest of the world. The rest of the world's uh, smartening up.